Hey guys, Omar here. And before any kind of lighting, any kind of flashes, any kind of lighting equipment that you think you need to conquer, this baby is the first thing you should use. Now this obviously is a reflector, but it's not just any kind of reflector. The first reflector I purchased was one of these five in ones. And the five in one is great because it comes with a scrim in it and a scrim allows you to block sunlight. So I do see a benefit in the five in one where you could take all the covers off and have a scrim. However, I prefer to carry my own scrim and use this reflector because this reflector is two-sided with the correct colors. <laughs> now most reflectors have like a gold side and a white side. And if you want the silver, you have to kind of completely take them apart. So this is actually the one I use for all my portraits. I just had to repurchase it. That's why I'm making this video is because my other one is so dog-eared and dirty that I rebought it. So I said, let me share with you guys, oh, what the reflector is like. But it is completely round. And on one side is silver and the other side is white. White, silver. For the most part, I use the white side. The white side gives you just nice fill under the chin. It fills in the shadows really nicely. I will use the silver side if my subject is a little further away. So I'm doing either a full length portrait of the person um, and I wanna capture just a little sparkle in their eye or maybe they're wearing a black jacket and I kinda wanna bring out a little bit of the reflection of the reflector in the jacket. That's really good too. But for the most part, if you're doing a headshot or if you're close up, use the white side. And what's great about using the reflector too is the eyes will pick up the reflector. And to us, we see it. Any kind of photographer that has used a reflector, a lot of times we're always looking at the eyes. Oh, there's a reflector. <laughs> but the people that are not photographers, they don't know. They just know they're, the picture's good. There's a sparkle in the person's eye. There's a couple of ways I position the reflector, depending on the shot. So you gotta know where your light is coming from, obviously, it's called a reflector. So, let me demonstrate. All right, to help us out, we have a model. Come on in. All right, so let's say, let's say you have a lot of natural light. I'm gonna be looking at the flippy screen, I apologize, not looking at you. If you notice, I have, this is where the direction of light is coming. And so we have shadows that are here. Now you may want that, you may want shadows to define the face. But if people have wrinkles, like look at, ugh. You may want to fill in the shadow. So I'm going to use the white side now to bounce this light. I'm going to use the white side. And you can see the reflector will fill in the rest of the face like that. So you have a little bit. And you can pull the reflector further away for less effect. There it is. No reflector. Reflector or really close to even out the skin as much as possible. The silver side is a little extreme. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the silver side a little too close because you start to get all these crazy speculars. And also if a person's face is greasy, it will pick up this really, it's a little too shiny. Uh, but like I said, if you're further away here, I'm holding it at arm's length, you could use the silver one to get a little sparkle in the eye. There it is, there's a little sparkle right there. Now the negative of a reflector is you're at the mercy of the direction of light. So if like, for example, if you're shooting under a very shady tree, well, you could put your reflector wherever you want. If there's a building on one side and the tree on the other, you're not gonna get any light to reflect off. So you are limited by location as, a, as opposed to is if, if you had like a lighting kit, you could shoot exactly where you want, set, put your settings in and shoot. But once you get really good at the reflector, you know what you can kind of get away with and you start to see that especially with teens, which I shoot, I only have about 45 minutes for a photo shoot. It's not a professional model that can sit through lighting tests and all that. So the reflector gives me the look I need quickly. If you're shooting families, if you're shooting kids that move around, I wouldn't recommend using lights at all. Use a reflector and even you can, with kids, make the reflector, although it could cause troubles, the reflector becomes kind of a fun thing because you can go all Batman and be like, Whoa, and they love it, the kids love it. Anyway, a reflector, silver, white. It's the best kind. Master it first before buying any kind of lighting gear. It really does wonders to your face. All right, I'll see you guys next time.